Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're doing something dangerous. We're doing something that no one recommends. We're putting in the 100% synthetic liquid lube in the rear diff of Dan's C7 2015 Stingray Corvette. And Dan, how many years have you had this sucker? Um, five years. And are you happy with it? I love it. I love it. How does it feel after the transmission fluid change? Well, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm scared to step on the gas because uh, I don't want to get a ticket. I tell you what, it comes up quick with that 8-speed, real quick. So definitely check out that transmission fluid change on the transmission. Right now, we got Hamlet. He's the official racer on the channel. He's dialing in the easy packs. And uh, this actually calls for a special lubricant that I believe is only by General Motors. And uh, General Motors definitely makes, you know, their own lubricants. Uh, I don't even know what else to say about that. But we're going to be putting in the 100% synthetic gear lube. Much higher film strength between the gears. Now I do want to, he's going to trim the tip so it squeezes in like butter. And uh, we're going to be draining down the fluid in a second. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Tap that notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and watch lots of uh, lube and videos later. And uh, on all different vehicles, protecting your vehicles, how to protect them. So uh, we're getting ready to drain her down. We got our pan coming in. We're going to drain that. And uh, well, let's rock and roll. All right, it's go time. Hamlet's got the 3 8 drive on her. And uh, it's right in this little nook and cranny right there. So that's going to be our feel spot, which is buttery easy to crack loose, right? Yeah. And uh, we're just going to pop the cork here. Got a nice fresh pan, which will show that's nice and clean. And we got that coming off. We'll see if anything leaks out. And we're good. Lots metallic. of good metallic. You can set that down. That's our magnet. It's got lots of, you can put it over here if you want. It's fine. Either or is good. And now we'll crack the bottom. We'll see the liquid gold flow. So like I was squawking about earlier, there's a special G25 is what this thing takes. And uh, it's like a special, um, just maybe grab it from the top, shove it in. Yeah, like that. Yeah, just watch the exhaust. I got it. And uh, that, there she blows. Awesome. Beautiful. And it takes the special, they call it a GL25. And that's like their special code for gear lube. I think it's the same thing. And if you ever have a chatter in your differential, all you're gonna wanna do is add some slip lock additive. You don't want it to chatter. That means it's putting a lot of pressure on the clutch packs and you don't want that to happen. So there we scrubbed off a nut. There we go. It was a messy one. Shot back <laughs> yeah. You never know which angle it's coming from. And we're lucky we have Hamlet. He's the official racer on the channel. Good man Hamlet with his uh, Challenger back there. That's his race car. And uh, we're letting the liquid lube flow. So there you go. You can see how easy it is to get there. Pretty easy. A little tough to see it from that angle, but right there is where it is. Perfect. And that's it. So we're going to let her drain down. Uh, we're going to drop her level as a matter of fact. And then we'll uh, go ahead and cork her up. It'll be time to squeeze in the liquid gold up top. We got the Amsoil parts cleaner. It's always good to give it a good shake. Has tons of good punch and power. And uh, well, Hamill's gonna demonstrate this Niagara Falls effect. Let's do it. Let's clean the hell out of those suckers. <laughs> Look at that punching power. Now that's a magnet there. Now we're gonna wipe this magnet right here. Go ahead and Hamlet, wipe it. So we're gonna show how much sludge was on that other magnet. These were almost identical. So this uh, parts cleaner has all that punching power. It just squirted all that stuff off that magnet in two seconds so we can finish this up with the parts cleaner you can just nail her out go ahead tag team and boom keep going so now we're just doing a final little wipe up and you can see not a whole lot on there after squirting that with the uh parts cleaner all right we're good to go the hamlet was just saying these uh plugs are actually plastic washers 
and they're just like a spark plug. So you only go to like 10 pounds of torque or you'll actually crack the plastic. And uh, yeah, yeah, probably not even 10 pounds of torque, he's saying. So they're very, very fine, lightweight. So uh, no need to put any pressure on them when you go ahead and tighten them up. But with the old here, that's the old. Quite a bit of metallic, nothing too crazy. There's no chunks or nothing. So we know the car is okay, but it's gonna be a whole, whole lot better with this 100% synthetic film strength. So Hamlet's in there squeezing in the, the clear liquid stuff and you'll be seeing her drip in a minute. It's like beautiful when she's dripping. That's how you know it's lubed. And uh, believe it or not, this stuff was actually pioneered way, way back at Pikes Peak with Bobby Unser. Bobby Unser, 12-time Pikes Peak champion, known as King of the Hill. And he uh, tested this stuff with uh, Al Amatuzio, the owner of Amsoil way back then in the late 60s. And then uh, Amsoil became API certified in 1972, the first synthetic motor oil in the United States. And then they actually are known for being the first in um, first synthetic transmission fluid, which we just did on Dan's car. We did that yesterday. And then this, this is the, the car we did it on, which you'll see that video up here in the corner. And they actually are known for the first uh, gear lube, 100% synthetic too. So pretty cool. So we're putting in about two and a half quarts and she should be dripping. It might not even take that. And uh, we'll see what we got. But you can see how pure and how clean that lube is. I mean, you almost can't even see it until you actually feel it. You don't even know that it's there. So I'll give you a little finger ins here. I'll show you what I mean. I mean did, you, did you know that it just changes color by the heat, heat change? Of course, oxidation, the carbon. But that does not mean that the fluid is bad on the diff fluid. Exactly. Because the heat does change the color, but not like the trans fluid. Yep. When it, color change the fluid goes bad but not on a trans fluid or in diff fluid all right i didn't know that talk to tech about that i like that so it's common to have that a diff color is always going to change the fluid it's always going to change after you put it in because of heat but it's not going to have a chemical reaction like the trans fluid i like that and also motor oil too i get a lot of people they put the signature series motor oil in and they go man it's black three thousand miles it's black well, what that is, is the detergents are actually loosening up all the carbon off the sidewalls of the motor, around the timing chain, around the uh, rings, around the oil cooler ports, if you got a turbo car, around the turbo, and all that basically uh, comes off and, and ends up staying in suspension in the oil. And by keeping it in suspension, it's not sticking to the side of your motor, which is a good thing. So he's uh, popping the cap here. And we're gonna slap on our fresh tip. You can use this tip if you want. You don't have to trim it. If you wanna use that one off there, it's fine. So we're just gonna switch the tips, boom, and uh, go ahead and fill her up. All right, we're filling her up until she overflows. And once she starts splooging out, that's when we're actually going to lower it level. So uh, you wanna make sure when you do your, your final drip on your diff, you want it to be as level as possible. And that's how you know it's at the right fill level and then you cork her up. So she should just be getting ready to splooge out. Let's see. I'm not gonna splooge, we have her too thick. There you go. So is she, is she just coming out? She's just starting to drip at three packs. Now we're gonna drop her level. All right, so we're just dropping her level here and it's just gonna start overflowing out. And it should start coming. And Let's see, not at all. All right, so she's thirsty. She is thirsty. Is there still? All right, we got three packs in. We're on number four, this is real. This is the first time on a Corvette. We never knew they could take so much. We're lucky I had a backup pack. Let's see when she splooges out here. Here we go. She should overflow. She going? Just keep going until she just splooges. There we go, finally. Now we're gonna level her. Wow. I'm only taking a yep. point two. Yeah, go ahead. You can level her down. You're gonna see the fluids flow. 
Oh, then there she blows. So we're gonna let her level out. Once she stops dripping, then we're gonna go ahead and cork her up. All right, so we got the uh, rear diff gear oil changed out. And uh, wow, let's see what Dan thinks. How's it feeling, Dan? Oh, it feels very good, very, very good. Uh, you know, I don't, like I said before, I don't drive it very hard. So, let me don't get the, uh, the feeling that other people do get, but uh, it feels very good, uh, very smooth, and uh, no noise, except the tires. You tell me to change the tires, well, I can't help that. Yeah, I was telling Dan I got rid of my run flats in my C5 Corvette and uh, made a huge difference. And uh, I had my car for 4.8 years and 74, 74,000 miles. And I never fixed one thing on it. The only thing I ever fixed on my C5 24 hour Le Mans edition 2004 manual was I did one wheel bearing when I hit a pothole on the way back, driving it back from Michigan where I got it, it actually cracked the bearing then, and it took a year for it to disintegrate and break apart. And then the plastic water bottle, um, I think that cracked on me at the very end, and that was it. It was the only two things I ever fixed. Um, and that's it. And uh, we did all the fluids on Dan's car. This is pretty much it. We did the motor oil. We did the trans fluid. And now the diff. channel definitely subscribe tap the notification bell and remember I do my giveaway every last Saturday of the month so if you want to be in the giveaway leave a comment and when you leave that comment what that'll do is uh, I randomly go through and select people randomly from the first 30 minutes of any new video so that's how I, so I uh, select people for the giveaway so we're in Vegas 70 degree day today just headed west and we're going to go to a coffee shop up here, pretty good. It's called Roma Coffee, and uh, just a great place. And uh, just what a great Friday. It was great to have Hamlet be a part of the channel. He helps out a lot. And uh, definitely check out his videos on his Challenger, because this is in the race category. So you definitely want to check those out. And uh, this car is just silky smooth. So we'll stick that playlist right here in the middle. Thanks, Dan. Thanks again for being a part of the channel. Well, you're welcome. Please to help out. Awesome. All right, we'll see you back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection. <laughs>